President Emerson Mnangagwa has been warned of a likely coup if he does not rein in the Central Intelligence Organization, CIO, and ZANU-PF affiliate Forever Association Zimbabwe, FAS, fingered in the party's chaotic primaries. FAS and CIO are alleged to have rigged ZANU-PF's internal elections in favor of anti Mnangagwa candidates and G40 members over the weekend across the country. Responding to criticism over his analysis over the elections, outspoken Member of Parliament Temba Mliswa said Mnangagwa was currently as vulnerable as his late predecessor Robert Mugabe. Mugabe was removed through a coup engineered by his disgruntled subordinates in the CIO and military in government. He swore Mnangagwa will have to deal with the repeat of Bora Musango sabotage in the upcoming elections. In the 2008 elections, Bora Musango was where party members did not vote for the ZANU PF President Mugabe as a form of punishment. Melissa argued the role played by CIO Deputy Director General Water Tafumane and Faz in ZANU PF's election had put Mnangagwa's presidency in a precarious situation. Bora Musango is coming. ZANU PF people are quick to get angry. I know them. They become emotional. This is a big mess and Nangago must face this honestly. This was done by Tapu Mane. He was fired from the ministry where he worked with Christopher Muchwango. They are not prepared to reveal what is happening with our gold, illicit financial flaws, but they keep focusing on Nelson Chamisa and Savia Kasukuwere. Where does Kasuku Were come in in this G40 team, which he has said? This is now evidence of factional fights at the top, said Mliswa. Faz has come in to destroy ZANU PF. The party cannot have anyone outside it running its elections. It no longer trusts its own security. Mnangagwa should know that when Mugabe was removed from power, he was removed by his country's security agents. He must be very careful. People will create a situation so people protest. This is exactly what is happening now. Melissa's sister, National and West Minister of State, Mary Chikoka, lost in her bid to earn a Hurungwe West birth at ZANU PF's primaries. She is one of the many big wigs. We include Joseph Chino Timba, Ziambi Ziambi, Fortune Chasi, Dexter Nduna, that suffered surprise defeats. To avert the possible coup, Mliso advised that Nangagwa starts rewarding those who have stood by him rather than court advice from Vaz, which he claims is a fake NGO fronting CIO interests. He added, you must reward those who are loyal to you and stand by them. You cannot take them to the hyenas. These young boys coming in will not say anything. ZANU PF members are up in arms with each other over rigging claims. Some have returned to the party demanding reruns, while others have reportedly stepped down.